Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a new palette on the market, the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons. I almost said chocolate bar bonbons, but it's just the chocolate bonbons. And this palette is super duper cute. Like all the chocolate bar palettes, it smells like chocolate and that's amazing. <laughs> and inside we have these adorable little hearts. I'm gonna put it this way for you guys. There we go. So to me, I am not so much on the cutesy train for things. I like more luxury looking items, but I fell in love with this and I was like, that's pretty flippin' adorable. And all the chocolate bars get so many good reviews and people love them. I've never been like, oh, I have to have this palette. It's just, they never really clicked with me, but this one and the colors in this guy, I was like, yeah, we're gonna try this one. So I'm going to swatch these for you. For the top row, we have Almond Truffle, which is a matte shade. Satin Sheets, which obviously has a nice metallic shine to it. Sprinkles definitely is more metallic as well as Molasses Chip. And then the last one, Malted, is kind of like a matte with a little bit of, you can see tiny sparkles in the pan, but I don't think that they necessarily translate so much on the eye. The next row we have Cashew Chew, which I would say is like a satin shade. Cotton Candy, a light pink, well, we're gonna say satin-y, frosty, something like that. And then Cafe Ulatte, I, I don't I don't know how to say that. <laughs> it's a frosty shade for sure. Bordeaux, one of my favorites in the palette. And that one is matte. Mocha, also a favorite, matte. And then Black Current, which is a deep purple frost shade that's not doesn't have a whole lot of pigmentation there, so you're not gonna get a lot of color payoff with that one. That was honestly probably my least favorite in the palette, but you know. And then the last row, we have Dark Truffle. Has a nice frosty, well, it's not frosty, because to me frosty is like chunks of glitter almost. I would say this is more of like a metallic, it's metallic satin, maybe more satin. And Pecan, Pecan Proof Praline, <laughs> I can't talk. And that one is in matte shade. Totally fetch, I'm reading these upside down by the way, so it's a little difficult. Totally fetch a really pretty, nice sheen on that pink. And then Earl Grey, love, love, love that one. That is definitely a little bit metallic and satin mixed. And then Divinity is more of a matte satin, kind of in between. Overall, this palette I think is absolutely beautiful. I had no trouble trying to blend these shades. No, I had a little bit of fallout with one of them, but that was more so the brush choice that I used, not the palette. So I noticed it after I was like putting on my makeup. I was like, oh, <laughs> and literally I went, blew it, and it was gone. So no issues. I really am happy to say that I like this palette a lot. I really enjoy the colors that they put in here. I don't have a lot of palettes with colors like this, so it's something nice to add to my collection. And the smell though, oh, the smell is so good. Kinda makes me wanna eat chocolate right now, which is not necessarily so good for you, but hey, if we eat dark chocolate, antioxidants, right? Gotta get your excuses in somewhere. Anywho, I did a video, or did a video, I'm in the video right now. I did this eye look, so if you guys want to see how I created this eye with this palette, just keep watching. Okay, let me start off by saying that I have no idea what kind of look I'm going for. I'm just gonna jump into this and play. So I've already primed my eyes. I used MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I'm going to start off by applying satin sheets all over my lid. And that's this larger shade right down here. And I'm using a MAC 242, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that from the inner corner all the way to the outer edge. This is a really pretty color. I think that if I used MAC Fix Plus, that it would be even more intense, which is pretty freaking awesome. At the brow bone, I'm gonna put a little bit of Divinity, same brush, and I'm just gonna pop this right underneath the arch 
and buff it downwards. I'll probably go in with silk sheets and pop a little bit more of a highlight when I'm done, but for right now, I just want something that's gonna go on the edge of my transition shade. Speaking of transition shades, I'm going to mix two colors. I'm going to mix Cashew Chew and Mocha and then use that in my transition area. <laughs> Using circular motions, as always, to buff this out really well. This is one of my favorite brushes to use for the transition shade. This is the Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush. I really like it. Now I'm going to go in with just Mocha on a MAC 217 and put this a little bit more concentrated into the crease. So I'm gonna use back and forth motions and then I'm kind of pushing my brush upward because I find that the 217 is a little harder to go in circular motions. So I'm kind of angling my brush up after I've applied the product to get the rest upward a little bit if that makes any sense at all. And then I'm gonna go back in with my original brush that I used for the transition and just soften the edges. Same 217, and I'm going to grab this beautiful shade right here, Bordeaux, right on the tip of this, and I'm going to go right into the outer corner and bring it up into the crease as well, but I'm not going to bring it all the way over. I'm going to stop kind of in the middle. So pat it down here to get the most pigmentation there, and then bring it up into the crease. I'm going to switch to a smaller detailing brush, and I'm going to grab... Mm, dark truffle on a MAC 221 and I'm going to just st very strategically place this right in the outer corner right here. So I'm just packing on the color just to create some dimension right in this outer V, but I'm not bringing this up into the crease at all. Going back in with my MAC 242, I'm going to grab a little bit more of Divinity and I'm going to pop this on my inner corner. Now a little bit more of silk sheets and right at the very arch of the brow. Do not bring this downward or anywhere else, just at the arch of the brow and then leave it be. For liner, I'm going to use Max Fluid Line in Rich Ground and then I'm gonna pop on some falsies and whatnot and I will be back to finish the bottom lash line. Okay, so I've got my eyeliner on and my lashes. These are Salon Perfect Demi Wispies, some of my favorite. And my husband just left to go to the gym and he came over and kissed me and said, be a good girl, blend that shit. And I was like, oh my God, do you even know me? Like, duh. Anyway, just thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> Anywho, so we're starting and finishing the bottom lash line. I'm going to grab Divinity again on my NARS pencil brush and adding a bit more of this right underneath the lash line right here in the inner corner just to help brighten up a little bit. This isn't like a super bright shade, but I don't want anything that bright. Then I'm going to go in with Mocha and go from outer to inner and just buffing that softly underneath the lash. Such a, this color is so pretty. And then lastly, I'm going to take Bordeaux of just a tiny bit on the end of this and going right at the very outer edge, not going in just to connect kind of where the wing is right here to make it a little darker. Perfect. Now add some mascara to your bottom lashes and you're good. Okay guys, that's it for the video. I definitely give this palette a two thumbs up. If you liked this video, please give this two thumbs up and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.